see that? How it's adjusting. So you actually, we actually sealed off uh, light and airflow and uh, like dust-wise, the entire interior of the headset using cloth, which means that the inside is very lightweight, but it also looks super dope. You see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? Look at that. No wrinkles or anything. Is anyone not seen? Who yeah, else? I can't back here, but that's alright. Here you go. Here you go. Uh, alright, everyone got that? Yeah. Here, I'll put it on if you guys want. You can actually see I'm, I'm looking at you right now. But the light leak in general is actually drastically improved. What we've done is rather than using foam baffles like in previous headsets, we actually use plastic and rubber baffles that overlap each other. So what happens is we're able to block light from the headset without blocking airflow. Through convection, you still have plenty of airflow so that you're, you know, the lenses don't fog up and the headset remains comfortable. The weight is also a lot more better distributed over the entire headset. Um, we have semi-rigid straps that have kind of an elastic strap system in here. Well, it's not even elastic, it's actually springs. It's a mechanical spring system in these arms that allow me to just do this to take it off. The first time you put it on, you have to get the straps adjusted right. But after that, it's as simple as just... That's all you need to do. So, and the cool thing is, because you have these mechanical springs in here, you actually are able to adjust the tension as well as where it is on your face. So, you can put it on your head and then adjust it a little bit after that if you want to press loosely or really tight on your face. Most of the time you want it to rest pretty loosely. There's no reason to really slam it onto your face. Um, that pre-adjustment to the Velcro right there? Yes, exactly. So, like you can see if you have an enormous head, An enormous head, or you know, hey, Bob, you have glasses. Real quick question: We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to wrap it. Up. I understand. Give me just a moment. Yep. There we go. Look at that. No problem. Another thing that we're doing, actually, uh, that I don't know if Brendan mentioned, is that our the facial interface is actually removable. So we're actually shipping it with multiple removable facial interfaces, and they're actually different forms. Uh, unlike. A lot of other heads. We did a lot of ergonomics research. How to make the best one-off device? How can you fit in everybody's face? Turns out that we're all too different to just use one facial interface. So we're actually providing multiple facial interfaces that allow for the right fit on different people with different features. What about like? It's also replaceable, so you will be by providing replacements. Well, yes, actually, some of them have different eye relief. Uh, we have a set, for example, that's designed for glasses users that provides a little bit more eye relief uh, in the most comfortable way possible because it's not as comfortable just you know, adjust it out on the same headset. Depending on where the headset hangs, you actually want to distribute the weight differently. And so we've designed the ergonomics of the headset. Around. We're gonna we're gonna have to go. Yeah, we gotta wrap. All right, one more thing. Just a couple more shots with the controllers. Okay. Dude, these always and then I can point no, I don't. do this. All right, I'm going. These are staying here. What's the uh, what's the, the tracking light with the constellation? Can you can you Perfect. how much move, movement can you do? Like, uh, You'll see an E3. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.